Welcome back to Let's Play Ukulele, Burning Dog fans. We now pick up right where we left off. Sorry, buddy, you can't use shortcuts. My train of thought reminds me of, uh, oh god. Reminds me of a horror game called Monstrum. I've never played it. Fuck. Monstrum. Uh... Not entirely unlike Alien Isolation in that there's a monster hunting you and there's nothing you can do to defeat it. So all you can do is run and hide. And, uh... I bring it up because when uh, the game features, I think, three completely different monsters... Like, one of them is a big physical brute who will like, tear doors off their hinges, and you can hear him stomping through the halls. But one of them is like a ghost that, uh... Yeah, one of them is a ghost that makes the lights flicker as it moves, and, uh, doesn't make a sound because it doesn't touch the ground. Anyway, three completely different monsters. But when the game launched, it only had the one, the big brute guy. And I've learned that when... I love this. When the developers of this game uh, added the second monster, they didn't tell anyone about it. Oh, we're putting out a patch today, fixing some bugs, you know how it is. It's just that once you installed this patch, from that moment forward, there was a chance that you'd get this new, completely unknown type of monster when you start a new game, instead of the one that's been, uh... Instead of the one that's been hunting you. I don't understand. Obviously I can break this, but... What if I do this? Alright, that does it. Oops, don't spray the paper with fire. Generally considered a faux pas. And I love that. That they had had this monster and not tell anyone about it. Because imagine being the first guy who encountered it. You're like, you go in the forums, holy shit, it's not the big guy, I found another kind of monster, and everyone's, no one will believe you. It's beautiful. Dolly? Is that going to be your name? The fuck does that mean? Damn it! Oh, 
Potentially. Um, what does this Lawson Drapper say? Get back in there, champ, and don't wait to get started. Well, okay then. I don't actually see a buton. Huh. Sorry about that. Anyway, I bring up the, the Monstrum thing, because, well, my train of thought actually led me to, uh... So that dude who tried to get into the pipe. Like, let's, let's follow my ridiculous train of thought for a moment here. Yeah, that guy's super dead. No! Okay, that's better. Now that that's done. I started off thinking about that guy trying to get into the pipe. And I was reminded that, uh, of all things, in Minecraft, uh, non-player mobs can get into the, uh... Well, they can move back and forth from one side of a nether portal to the other. It's not entirely uncommon to see zombie pigmen invading your garden if you put a nether portal there. But I distinctly remember that when they first introduced the portals, they couldn't do that. Only players could move from one side to the other. And I thought it would be kind of funny, I thought to myself, it would be funny if they never actually announced that when they did it. And people just started finding extra-dimensional zombies hanging out in their backyards. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, well. That was a good start. Oh, fucking hell, the bees respawned. I didn't even go anywhere. Oh, I actually got him with that one. But they were supposed to be in a damaged state when they had their spikes out. God damn it. Annoying. There's the doctor in the background. So 
So I went from the thought of it would be funny if they had not announced the ability for mobs to move through portals to, hey, I actually remember someone who made a major content update without uh, mentioning it. You know, it would be like if a year after Alien Isolation came out, they quietly added the Predator and didn't tell anyone. No, God damn it. Huh. Hell yes, it is. Oh. It's not going to just go in here, huh? Hey, Doc. How can you tell? Your head is underwater. If that's a pun, I can't tell what it is. Is it going to turn me into an octopus? hell is that? Oh! It is going to be some kind of aquatic thingy. Is that? Is that the molly cool right there? Oh yeah, drowning. It is the molly cool. That isn't what I was expecting to happen, but it worked anyway. Okay. Sure. Oh boy, a brand new transformation form. Is that quick enough? Oh god. I really don't like the way this machine shakes. Potentially. Magnificent! Your left trigger instead of X to uh, dive, I guess. I was not expecting this. <laughs> we appear to be the school of piranhas. Yeah, shoal. Oh, 
I do like how enjoyably derp the uh, Lele fish are. At least they haven't been fusioned into one body this time. That was the attack, by the way. Oops. It's going to take some getting used to. What's their fault for putting X first in the swimming tutorial? I can't go there. We're a fish. Mm, can't put the camera right behind us. Just for some reason. Where is that pipe I found? Yep, the, the yucca fish look pretty du derpy too. I get it! I like that! The individual fish are small enough to just swim around the, uh, the thorns. Oh, piss drink. That's something we can't do with our abilities. I really like this, but it seems to be even more limited than some of the other forms. I mean, at least the, uh, the truck had the shortcuts it could use to get around the level. What an asshole you are! You don't think I wasn't going to turn back for a bit there? Oh, I get it. I get it. I bet I can flood this station. I bet I'm just too slow to catch this guy if I'm not fish. You know what, there's assholes out there and the session just ended anyway. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ukulele when we uh, continue exploring the swamp and try and find new uses for our bizarre uh, piranha form. Later.